Guys, I'm curious. Uh, I wanted to talk quarterbacks here for a minute because Aaron Rodgers is about, you know, they got to work out the compensation, but he said on McAfee show, he's going to the Jets. Any thought that the Packers are going to foil this whole plan, by the way? Uh, no. I think the Packers are just thinking, you know, we have some leverage here because the Jets are desperate. He's, But they also need to, they, they, they need closure on this. I, I think they want to But why do they need hands. closure today versus a month from now? I, Okay. Well, no, I'm just saying eventually. I'm not saying right. Ryan. I mean, we saw last year with Baker in Carolina. Look how long that took to play out. Right. I had someone tell me yesterday, yeah, not reporting this, but they were they were they were pontificating, like basically asking the question out loud. Okay, great. He wants to go to the Jets. What if the Packers don't want to play ball with that? What What are their options? What can they do? Yeah, I mean, and you know. and also we know this for sure because other people have reported this. There's a lot of pissed off people in Green Bay. And I'm not talking about fans. I'm talking about the front office. He's basically giving a team a wish list, a team that he's not a member of. Well, he claims he's not doing that. Well, he's, of course, I he's don't gonna, believe him, well, but, of course yeah. he's going to claim that. But yeah. too many people with, right. with blue check marks reported that that's exactly what happened. Yeah. And some of those players were poached off of the Packers roster. Yeah. That's funny. I mean, it's almost like, is there some sort of tampering going on there? Well, well, they're all free agents, but I, th- yeah. Aaron Rodgers isn't. Well, no, he's not fair. That's true. And that's what they gave him. I, I, the Packers gave the Jets permission to talk with him. Understandable. Yeah. But like when you, when you think about how far things progress. Yes. The, the tampering question is a legitimate one. It is, but ultimately, and, I agree with Jason. I think the Packers want to move on. They're ready. They they got to see what they got in Jordan Love because he's a free agent at the end of the year. They need to play. By him. the way, I think they're ready for that. I yeah, think they, I, I don't they, know. They, he's they good. He's barely that. played. Looked pretty good when he came in for him last year. Yeah, but he didn't. He only threw like twenty passes. I mean, I know, but yeah. I'm just saying he, he looked like an NFL quarterback to me. In but that very they got to find out, side. right? They got to yeah. find out. So they want to play him. I, I think eventually it's going to happen, but. But think about the quarterbacks in the AFC versus no. the NFC. I mean, in the AFC, you know, I, I I think Rodgers is going downhill, but whatever. I mean, the AFC quarterbacks are loaded. In the NFC, who are the top three quarterbacks in the NFC? Listen, it's so top-heavy right now in the AFC. Yeah. It To me, it feels like the NBA, the East versus the West. I, I don't think there's ever been this disparity in quarterbacks between one conference no. and the other. I can't remember. I think one of the top ten quarterbacks in the NFC. Nine of the ten are in the AFC. Yes. The only one is Jalen Hurts would make it's the top crazy. ten. It's Who's really the second crazy. best quarterback in the NFC? Dak? Daniel Jones. Stop. Gino. He's better than Dak? No, he's not. By the way, as long as we're talking quarterbacks, let's talk about our old right. Jacoby Brissett. Well, Baker we mentioned yesterday. Baker we did yesterday. Jacoby getting Jacoby double the guarantee. Double money. the guarantee that Baker got. Yeah, unbelievable. Now, there is some I guess LA wanted Baker. But they're not sure what's going to happen with Matthew Stafford. They just, they don't know. So, I, it was interesting to me that Baker wanted, Baker did the one year on, on intentionally. And someone told me yesterday, don't ever, don't, don't rule out the idea that Baker ends up back in LA on a new deal after he plays one year in Tampa. I think it's the best spot for him. I think it's the best spot well, for but, him. And I wouldn't be surprised if but that happens. Why, if, if the Rams wanted him that badly, they couldn't have paid him more than they $4 don't million? Want, they don't want to keep him in there yeah. as a backup to Stafford if they end up Stafford's healthy and he yeah. plays the whole year. Mm. There are two scenarios with Stafford. He retires or he comes back and gets injured. And in that case, they'll regret not bringing Baker back. But I think what they're going to do is roll the dice. That Stafford's yeah, going to be the guy. I would disagree that they would regret it because I don't think Baker's ever going to turn out his career. I think he's his own worst enemy. He well, sucked last year. He played. He played. He played well in that game when he came back. He did have one other good game. The other three games with the Rams, he stunk. The Rams were happy with Baker the time he was there. That that much. They, in, in the end, they didn't offer him uh, any, any money. So they, I don't know how much they primarily you know. because they can't be in the spot where they have Stafford and Baker on the same. Why? Level. Well, if Stafford's healthy, he's clearly started. They no weren't going to go down that road for a See, number of reasons. And I think Baker wanted to give me the one year. J- proof this idea that Baker is some guaranteed starter at this point is laughable. I, I don't think he's a guaranteed no starter. One, no Tampa one said Bay he is all. a guaranteed starter. But I, I, I will say that I yeah. think inside the organization, they like him enough that they would feel comfortable moving forward with him. If it weren't for Stafford right I now, I don't know how anybody could be comfortable for, moving forward for, with Baker for any as a quarter, starter. This is obvious for any yeah. quarterback that's out there. When you come into the league, always be planning for the day when you're not the starter, right? 
You, it's very small, finite amount of people. These quarterbacks they get to come in the league, get their rookie deals, get the big deal after that, and get keep you know progressing because they're at the top ten. Most of the guys either come in and get their shot. They don't do anything. They draft a the quarterback, or they come in play badly. Don't really do anything. Move around and around. The thing, be, the difference between Jacoby Brissett and Baker Mayfield is that Jacoby Brissett understands how to play the game. He's not going to do anything to Sam Howell. He's not. He going. He going. Matter of fact, he might tell him to come live with him. They'll hang out. They'll play well. He'll be a backup. He'll hold the clipboards. He's going to go to the, all the PTA meetings. As a matter of fact, he's going to be one of the best people in the locker Wait, room. Wait, you think Sam Howell's going to start over Brissett? No, I'm saying oh, if, no, no, if it no. happens. If it happens, it, it, well, it how, wouldn't be a problem. Right. No, he is the starter. I mean, right. yeah, yeah. They've already said he's the starter. Right. So if if he so Jacoby comes, did they in, say that definitely? Yeah, yeah, they did. Oh, I didn't see definitively. That. Okay. So, they brought they brought Jacoby in yeah. to be a really nice insurance policy. And, and you know what? what? And he'll get him ready after he they saw the way he worked with Deshaun Watson. Yeah. Guess what? Jacoby can get big time money as a backup for the rest of his life. Yeah. Because they say they look at it and say, listen, if he did that with Deshaun Watson and all that crap was going on and hitting the keys over, the, hey, ain't it funny how there's a nice smooth transition of power? Ja we all yeah. love that. Well, right? Jacoby's a He's got a job in this league for as long as he wants it. Yeah. You know who has probably had the best job in pro sports the last 15 Chase years? Chase Daniel. Colt McCoy. Yeah, Colt McCoy. Chase, well, Chase Daniels Chase had a lot Chase more Daniels. money. Yep. Uh, like, these guys Josh come in McCown. and yeah. they embrace that role. And more than anything, they're competent. They mm -hmm. know. And, and, and by the way, we can have this conversation with the Browns because I don't know if Mond is that guy for the Browns or not. I don't think anybody does. But well, if, if you get to a stretch where – Mid-season, and this is not a stretch, where Deshaun's going to miss three games with a tweaked knee. Would you feel more comfortable with Kellen Mond, or would you feel more comfortable with someone like Minshew? Well, let me or, give you. Let me get here's six veterans. Okay. That are still out there. Right. And remember, the only team that still needs a starter is Indianapolis. Doesn't have a starter. Right. And I guess Arizona because Kyle Murray's been a bridge to so Murray. probably two of these six guys will end up there. Right. Okay. But that's going to leave backup jobs for the other four. And if you know Baker, who could be a starter, got only four million guaranteed, maybe they can get one of these guys for two, three million if they want to do sure. it. Sure. But between these six guys, he, there's I, forget Jeff Driscoll and Kyle Allen. It, those ignore those. Bridgewater and Minshew, Carson Wentz, Joe Flacco. Marcus Mariota, Matt Ryan, and then the two from that to list. To me, those are all the same guy. All of the guys that you mentioned, the last four, they're, I'm pretty sure they're all the same player. I've never seen all four of them in the same room uh, at once. Yes. Like, aren't they really the same guy? They're just these well, interchangeable. I, I think what I would do. They've had great moments. I think the guy for the Browns to get, if you can get him for two, three million, if, you, if I have to choose, would be Marcus Mariota. His game his style of play I, is the run. closest to Watson. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not really close, but it's the closest. Yeah. He, I think he's probably at a point in his career where he realizes he's a backup. And, you know, mo a lot of times it's hard for first-round quarterbacks to adjust to that. Sure. I think, you know, he I'd has. I'd be okay with that. I mean. I think that makes sense. If, if you're going to go the veteran route. If, I think Mariota's. And my second choice would be Minshew. But I think Minshew could end up as a starter in Indy. But, I, I, I would take Minshew, then Mariota. But yeah. I would have a problem. If they couldn't get Minshew and do Mariota, because I think you can see Kevin Stefanski can always revert back to the run heavy playbook. He knows that. He's like, hey, grab me a couple tight ends. Let's hand this ball off a few times. We'll get that done. But I, yeah. I like Gardner Minshew too. I thought I think he he'd be on the top. I of my actually list. I actually would take Matt Ryan. I would take Mariota one. I'd put Matt Ryan as my second choice. Oh, just I just remember only back because, to some games last year with the Colts. But the hope is you you don't you're not he's not playing. But well, what know. but what he could provide. I think throughout the week in the quarterbacks room, I, that's true. And I, helping, I, I, I kind of like that. And helping Deshaun. Yeah, and I like that. Not that Deshaun. Presence. We act sometimes like Deshaun needs all his help. He really doesn't. But I just like another set of eyes. Someone who's seen it all. I, I, someone who's familiar with what Kevin Play has balls. run in the past. I like, I, yeah, I like that. I, I want, Carson Wentz is the last guy I'd want of the of all of them. Yeah, I want my quarter. I want to go into this thinking that he's going to start three games. Because very, you know, not what percentage of the league's quarterbacks started all 17 games last year. Can you check that I, out, Mike? I, I, and you can't... It, 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 there may have been a couple of guys who just like sat, sat week at the 17. end right, because they had right. something wrapped right, right, up. Right, right. I, bet you'd be, I think it'd be higher than you yeah, think. Yeah, really? I bet I'm you... Wrong. I, would, I don't know. I would guess it's I at, know, at least half. So we know the Browns higher. didn't. The Steelers didn't. Ravens the Ravens didn't. didn't. So, so that's, that's the three in our division. Right. Although the Browns, it was not because of injury. It was, it was because suspension. of suspension. The 49ers didn't. The Dolphins didn't. 
<laughs> yeah, the well, Raiders the Buccaneers didn't. did. I got. We'll run through the numbers real quick, but yeah. bro, I do want to remind you that Bet Jack is the official sports sure. of the great state of Ohio. The time is now, Ohio sports fans. Sports betting is live. Download the Bet Jack app today. It is the official sports book of the great state of Ohio. So I'm on ESPN. This doesn't sort it exactly, but here are the top quarterbacks by number of games played. Mahomes played 17, Herbert 17, Brady 17, Cousins 17, Burrow 16, but I think that one game is the Bills game. That yeah, they didn't play 17. Yeah, that didn't count. Oh, okay. yeah, that so didn't that's count. five. So that, that's really 17. That counts five. Him, so yeah. Count him as five. Yeah. Uh, Goff, 17. Six. Josh Allen, 16, but 17. Yeah, they didn't play a thing. game. That's seven. Geno Smith, 17. Eight. Trevor Lawrence, 17. Nine. Rodgers, 17. Ten. Uh, Daniel Jones played 16, but sat out week 17. That's he counts. 11. Yep, he counts. Um, and that's about that's it. That's a then third you of the league. Hertz played 15. Wilson played 15. Carr played 15. Davis Mills played 15. Mac Jones played 14. Brissett actually played in 16 games. Yeah, he came funny. in a he lot. He doesn't really count. Yeah, I mean, well, he a couple of those were not in the fourth down uh, thrower. A couple okay. of those were so, not because of injury. So that is <coughs> a little more than half played 14 games or more. Yeah. Yes. And so uh, if, I, if I'm being completely fair to my team, yeah. I'm going to plan on my backup quarterback is going to start two to three games. Yeah, and, that's fine. And, and yesterday we had the conversation. Oh, if he gets hurt at all, at all, it's, it's no. It's, I don't think no. You know, we no. were I, we were saying if it's a season in, well, season injury, season in, yeah, yeah, of that course. Is, yeah. You know, two or three games. Yeah, who's their starting quarterback? It's two three games. Yeah, you yeah, can two you or three want a quarterback games, to help you, you survive. You need a bridge, and it, yeah, they have to make the decision. They see Mond every day in practice. They know what he is. Right. I don't. If they think that he's the guy and they can live with him for two or three games, keep him and roll the dice. But if you don't. You better go out and you better get a Minshew yeah. or a Matt Ryan or yeah. somebody that you're not going to have to. And last year, I thought Brissett was the perfect guy. He was. Because he's done that throughout his career. Right. And he played way better than a 4-7 and seven quarterback. His numbers were good. He should have been, I think, at minimum 6-5. and five. And I that's, don't know. He had a hand in some of those. He had he a hand did, in but, some of the okay, losses. We'll, losses. Well, let's just, we'll just go two of them right off the bat. The Jets game. What the hell did he do in the Jets game to cost him the game? I know he threw the, the, the pick at the end. But he never should have been in that position. Never should have been in that position. If we take a knee, right, sure. the game is over, and they're 2-0. and up. But he didn't play well in that first game, and they won that game. He didn't play particularly well there. No. He, listen, overall, he played well, and the defense was more to blame than him for the record. That's I why I say I don't, I don't think we agree to with think that. he could have had yeah. six wins last year. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it'd be interesting. Again, Mariota and Minshew could end up as the starters in Arizona. and, and Yeah, Indy. there's still these guys. I think I'm sure Mariota, for one, wants to this go whole somewhere thing. where he can compete Absolutely. for yeah. a starting yeah. job. Yeah. And if those two guys are off the board, I probably would be with you on Ryan. I like uh, Ryan over I Minshew. Definitely I'm don't not like, a Gardner-Minshew guy. I don't want Wentz. Yeah, I don't think I want one. I don't really want um, – who else did I mention? There? I'd be Joe fine. Flacco. Joe Flacco. I, I, guys, I guess I, he's the same as Brian. I would really. be perfectly fine if the Browns – Wentz, draft. Flacco, and Ryan to me. They're like – Yeah, to me, they close. are the same. I even Mariota. They're, to me, they're all I've, in the same class. Flacco killed the Browns last year. It won't bother me at all if the Browns draft a quarterback in the fourth or fifth round. No, I won't be – I won't be – Fourth round, too high, I think. But if he's going to be your – if you're looking at him as your Chad Henney, I guess. You know what, it though, too high? quarterbacks, it's interesting. I think – Teams reach on quarterbacks early, and then there can be a lull on quarterbacks in the oh, third, oh, fourth, definitely. and fifth round. Yeah, yeah. Need, and then in the seventh round. round, a lot of teams will take a flyer. San Francisco did it last year. Right. You take a flyer on a guy, what the hell? What's you know? Yeah. They do have the Browns have do have more picks than rounds four, five, six, and seven, right? Don't they, they have do. Yeah. so I think maybe, they have two fourths and two fifths. I think or something. they do. So maybe they two take thir- a flyer two two fours, okay. with yeah, one maybe. of those, maybe an extra third or fourth see what they can get. If the quarterback that they really, really like is on the board, then go for it. What was interesting was they, they – didn't they keep Mund on the roster all year? Was Mund on the roster the whole year? No. No, they, they got picked him midway him through the year. Did they? But they – Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah, know how I mean, committed to him they are. I don't we'll know. We'll see. I think if you – I think if you can get a veteran cheap for under four million, like two, three million, yeah. I think you'd do it. If, if not – but in the end, I agree with Jason. If they draft a quarterback late – Somebody they think might be a good guy to be back. I'm fine with that, too. What do we think of Fletcher Cox? Uh, I think he gave a hometown discount to Philly. Um, he, he was a guy that everybody in Cleveland yeah, were sure. very – we were all excited about him. Well, they want you – know, Philly lost a bunch of guys in free they agency did. initially. Yeah. So, they were going to – we had heard yesterday they were going to cut Slay. They ended up signing him to a new deal. 
So he, you know, this guy's been in the league forever. He don't want to change teams now. I don't blame him. No. And I don't know that it would have been wise got... for the Browns to give him $12 million, No. Which probably would have, it would have taken. At least. I, I think at least 12. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, not, I'm not disappointed that they didn't land Cox. No. Because uh, of what the price tag would have ended up being. I, I, you know, I know the Browns in their four ads on defense didn't sign any superstars. But superstars don't end up on free agency pretty much. So they may not have gotten the best guy in Javon Hargraves, but I think on paper at least, and we'll see how it pans out, I think they've spent their money wisely on defense. I, I kind of like what they've done. They couldn't be any worse. Like, there's only yeah. one direction to go from right. where they were on the defensive line they last year. Yeah. So they still need a linebacker. I'm waiting, they to do. See, I'm waiting to see if they got something up their sleeve. They need another linebacker. They do. I mean, Bobby Wagner you, is still – by the way, he's one of the – there's not a lot of really – most of the remaining free agents are like – Low contract guys. There's a few, you know, Bobby think, Wagner might get a decent amount of money. I think a couple for the other most guys. part, though, the free agency period. Uh, there's still some guys that yeah, need to be that moved. Yeah, that CJ Gardner. Yeah, your he's guy, available. He's still available. But I think for the most part, the dominoes have fallen. Most of the big guys and are off the board. And now I think, Jason, the Browns are looking towards trade and draft, correct? Probably. And yeah. who knows? Yeah. Maybe they have something up their sleeve like they did last year with Amari Cooper. Like, I mean, Cooper came earlier than this, though. No, but I'm just talking about the size of the deal. Yeah. The, holy cow. That was, uh, it I, was, it was I, th- I think they fleeced the Cowboys. Oh, they for sure Big did. Time. Like, uh-huh. that was one of Andrew Barry's best moves. And maybe they can pull was, something off like that again. But that was getting out ahead of the market. And now I don't know. The market's been set now. Yeah, the market's sort of been set now. So yeah. I, I just think the timing's a little bit different this year they than what that was. They can make a move. If they can get the right piece, they can catch some people. People, The Ravens are in flux. People saying that he might not sign that deal. They still don't really have any weapons like that. You look at the, the Steelers. Obviously, they do have Pickens and they do have uh, Deontay uh, uh, Johnson. But there's there's some guys that you, you can catch. And there's, you can fall off, too. The Jets just got better. The AFC is loaded. They loaded. I mean, it's loaded. It's so, it's so tough. when you start talking, when you, you, it's important not to look at your roster in a vacuum. Like, oh, well, our roster this year was better than it was last year. We should be. No, you can't do that. You got to look at what your competition level is and where you need to go. You know, what I mean, teams have good quarterbacks and offenses. You're gonna have to get somebody. Not, and I'm saying I, not what, rookies. 